the challenge is, in the modern world where the biological systems are dynamic, we have to think on an increasingly large scale, international scale. It's more of a problem in Europe, actually, than it is uh, here, because um, we're split into a um, ridiculous number of countries. Um, but mm -hmm. in... So, because each country sees its own species as its problem, wow. and, and Spain doesn't want to give Britain, a population of Iberian lynx, the most endangered species of cat, arguably, on the planet, because mm. it's their lynx. The Brits don't want the Spanish lynx because <laughs> it didn't occur in Britain before, nasty foreign lynxes. Um, <laughs> actually, it did about 150,000 years ago, its ancestors, but um, they've forgotten that. Um, so... But so what Brits are going to do is to reintroduce, if they possibly can, there's a whole group of people working on it now, to reintroduce the Eurasian lynx, um, which, um, and spend a lot of money on doing this, um, when actually it's about the most widespread and least endangered cat species on the planet. Now, for me, given that we're living with dynamic systems, mm -hmm. why not put your effort and money into mm. the species that's genuinely endangered Mm -hmm. rather than imagining putting links back in the home counties is going to make the world somehow good again. <laughs>